Hi, this is size 12 light wire straight chunk hook and I'm using number 12 globe right it's a fluorescent green uh, for the tug so if you just start level with the bob sorry the point and just stop at the bend and it's a very kind of soft material you know breaks very quickly so very fragile so and finish off with this just now now if you find any fluff just get the lighter and take it off and a little bit UV resins to secure it you don't have to do that actually just uh, give it a little hot spot sometime it works really okay, well okay and the tag is done now the thread I'm using is Ato black now just start below the eye open the thread okay uh, for the body tail and everything is a block deer hair they are the dyed black so I'm going to take a little bit just for the tail so if you just take a little pinch and just put it in the hair stucker as you can see just to level the tips and then just take them out and just get this fluff off but um, so tail should be just a little not very long but just a length of the body and just cut these off and just catch these gently make sure you secure these before you let them go so Add some wax on your thread. If you get a bit, a little odd one sticking out, just chop them off. Add some little bit black dubbing. Now this is actually um, you can use seal for. This is a the dubbing came out of the. Um, I'll show you. It's a little bit dubbing. You you can get that from side of this. You know hairs as you can see. I really prefer this stubbing is really nice and soft so if you can pick it up and then kind of I use it on the bodies so seals fur is fine okay let's take some more a little bit shorter than this one so if you could just keep a light of Couple of, meter, couple of millimeters shorter than the previous one and then I'm gonna cut these off so you don't have to be messing around with these Just add some more wax on your thread and I'm using the same dubbing. It's really nice and soft dubbing comes out of the deer hair. Um, 
sits really nicely as well. And then this more here. Let's chop these off and then catch in. Make sure you secure everything. That's fine. Now what you have to do here is I'm going to add some legs. So these are a kind of block pheasant knotted legs or so just two on either side just level them up And then make sure they are sitting properly. That's fine. Secure them. And just take this extra piece off. Don't worry about this head actually if you think it's too messy then get the lighter and burn all this extra off. Now <clears throat> add some wax I'm gonna be using a cock huckle which is a genet uh, sorry this is a whiting cock huckle so um, just create a little catching point as you can see and then gently catch it secure that and add some more wax I'm just going to lift this up before I just put my huckles on so I'm going to stroke these one bar so they can sit properly like I said you know every fly you tie take your time Great pattern, well, especially this year, this time of year, summer and autumn. All these plug, aqua terrestrial, and all this, you know, represent this, imitate this pattern, imitate every, you know, terrestrial and sorry, uh, yeah, terrestrial. So, I just finish off with a nice head. That's fine.
I'll just bring it back to the normal position and uh, this worked see everything is all right you can all just get this uh, dubbing brush and fix all these make sure you all the huckles and everything are sitting nicely and all I need a little bit varnish on the head so there we have a black Sedgehog with the little green horse part, really good pattern this time of year, and you can work, you can use this all the way till end of season. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.